the Met Morning News starts in starts in starts in five five four four three three two two one one. Good Tuesday morning, Jaguars. I'm your host Isabella with your Met Morning News webcast from the Metropolitan School of Panama. This is episode number 104, and today is Tuesday, September 22nd, 2015. Now here's Miguel with the announcements. Thank you, Isabella. Here is what is happening at the Met. A big thank you to all those Jaguars that participated in the beach cleanup. Please stay tuned after your show of a special announcement of I, about iPads memory issues. For Mr. Flick, there's, there will be no, no school this Thursday and Friday. Thanks for those announcements, Mika. Today for lunch, we will be having breaded fish fillets and yellow rice with the side of carrots, broccoli, and zucchini. Now here's Alex with the birthdays. We have two Jaguars celebrating birthdays today. A big happy birthday to Madeline in sixth grade and Kira in second grade. Happy birthday! And now here's Alex with this day in history. On this day in history, in the year 1896, Queen Victoria of England surpassed her grandfather, King George III, as the longest ruling monarch in British history. Now you know what happened on this day in history. And now here's Ronan and Harry with the joke of the day. Why do you have to be careful when it's raining cats and dogs? I don't know. Why? To make sure you don't step in a poodle. <laughs> and finally, here are Isabella and Miguel with strange questions to ask a student. Hello everyone, I am here with Miguel, who is here to play strange questions to ask a student. Miguel, if you were given 5,000 ping pong balls, what would you do with them? I will put them at the floor of my house to be more safety and nobody can fall and hit themselves. Very interesting answer. Thanks everyone and we'll see you in the next episode. Okay, today let's talk about your storage capacity on your iPad here. Okay, so you've got a 16 gigabyte iPad. Now that means how much memory your iPad has in it to store apps as well as files that you have or create. Now you don't get to use all 16 gigabytes because uh, most of that is taken up. So about four, let me just do this as a uh, four gigabytes down here. This is taken up by applications that I need to have on there. So these are all your tech applications, the Google type of applications, those things take up about four gigabytes. And then your teacher uh, puts in about another uh, six gigabytes of applications are there for content ones. So if you have like an application all about the flags of the world or math facts or those type of things, they're taken up by the other uh, six gigabytes that they have there. Now if you do the math on that and you look at that, what remains, this space that remains is about five to six gigabytes that remains up here. Okay, so that's of the 16 gigabytes, that's what you have for your file. So if you take a photo, it fills into that space. If you make a video, it puts it into that space and those type of things. Now the problem that we have are that you guys are filling this up with things that you don't need to have. So sometimes you come to the IT and you're like, hey, my iPad says that it's out of memory. And then we go on there and we find 5,000 selfies on there done with photo booth. Or we find uh, an hour and a half of video that you recorded of your dog. 
or we go into an app called Boss Jock, and you've been in there recording hours and hours of the radio on there. Okay, so you've got to be really careful about what you use uh, that five to six gigabytes of space for. Okay, so don't fill it with nonsense type stuff. You can fill it with your schoolwork. If you need to have something, you can always upload it to your Google Drive. So let's say you do make a movie, and that's, it's a long movie, and it takes two gigabytes of space. Okay, so you have this movie that takes two gigabytes of space. Well, what you want to do is you want to upload that to your Google Drive, okay, and then you can delete it off your iPad. Once it's on your Google Drive, it's up in the cloud, okay, so it's up in the cloud, and then you don't need to have it on your iPad anymore, and that's why you can delete it off your iPad because now it lives in the cloud and you can get those two gigabytes of space free again so you're not filling it up up here okay so we don't want to see you coming to IT saying that you have no more memory left on your iPad and then us finding all this uh, nonsense type stuff on there so be very careful with the things that you store on your iPad and if you really need to keep it upload it to the cloud and put it in your Google Drive okay have fun